welcome back to another video this really popped when i saw it that to me is a monster increase again this book got hot this book is ready to go higher so let's jump right into it we are back today with another statue review from diamond select toys without further ado let's get into the review What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Thor and of course the books pertaining to Thor that I'd want to own in my collection. Now before we get started in the video, like always, I'm going to ask you if you're not a current subscriber of the channel, do me a favor guys, click the subscribe button for me, you will not regret it. I want you to smash that like button and turn on the notification bell because it lets you guys know when I post new videos. With that said, we're talking about Thor, one of the most important characters in Marvel history, a big part of the mcu as well got four movies in there so i'm gonna give you my top five books and where we're gonna start we're gonna start at number one the biggest book his first appearance it is a copy of journey into mystery number 83 and the first appearance of thor now while this book is still pretty expensive compared to all the other silver age marvel grails out there this one is actually pretty cheap cgc 2.5 just sold this month for 5380 bucks, which to me i think is an absolute steal i actually own a 1.0 copy of this book and i bought it way back when i think i spent about 2200 for it now we're talking about a 2.5 really almost only doubled from that price that is a great buy in my opinion we're not too sure where thor is going to be going forward in the mcu but i do not think it matters when we're talking about the big silver age marvel blue chip keys these are books that you're going to own for 20 to 30 to 40 to even 50 years down the road so you want to own these books because of what they are the biggest characters out there are worth the most and down the road this one is at least double or triple in price it has to be number one on the list and my favorite thor book at number two on this list is a copy of Journey into Mystery number 85 and the first appearance of Loki. Now, a lot of people ask me, why is this number two? Because I think Loki is such an important character in Thor lore. It has to be at the two spot. And a CGC 2.0 just sold last month for $1,435. Which to me, is kind of a lot of money. I have a story from way back when, when I first got back into collecting comics, I could have picked up a 2, 2.5 for around four to 500 bucks, and I balked at the chance then, and I am regretting it now because of where this book has gone, especially with the MCU being so Loki-centric all throughout. The first 10 years of the MCU were basically about Loki and about his relationship with Thor, his father, and now, of course, with the Time Variance Authority, where we are with time travel in the MCU, he is a huge part of it still 10 plus years later so i wish i bought this book back then but i still think it's a good buy right now at the three spot is a copy of silver surfer number four and this iconic cover by the great john bashima now you're going to ask me why is a silver surfer book on a thor list it is because this cover is so classic i could have not included on this list why is it number three is because i prioritize classic covers over second appearances that's just how i collect that's why it's number three on my list and i absolutely love this one one of the top three covers in my opinion that has ever been done and a cgc 7.5 just sold this month for 1525 bucks which to me is actually a really great price now if you don't want to go that high in grade there are lower grades that i think that you can have for less money if you want to go that route fine it's a silver age key it doesn't really need to be high grade but the higher the grade, the better for investment purposes. That's what I say. But either way, this is number three on my list. At number four on this list is a copy of Journey into Mystery number 84 and the second appearance of Thor, like I just mentioned, and a CGC 2.5 just sold last month for only 900 bucks believe it or not that to me is a really great price for a second appearance of a major marvel character you guys know how i collect i don't want to overpay for second appearances to me i think if you're going to buy a second appearance you have to get them at a premium discount I'd rather take that money and go ahead and buy the first appearance. I know in this case, it's a lot more money to spend because it is such a major character. But again, if I'm keep throwing, you know, $900 or $100 at book after book, if I've done that five times, six times, I can go ahead and buy the first appearance of this character, of Thor. And that's always what I'm about. That's always the best investment. And that's always the book I want to own first. Regardless, it's still number four on my list. It's a must own if you love the character and want it in your collection. To me, I'm just not a huge second appearance collector. 
And rounding out the 5 spot is a copy of Journey into Mystery, Annual Number 1, and the first appearance of Hercules. Now, this book was all over the Hot 10 breakdown, maybe about 3-4 to four months ago, when there was speculation that Hercules was going to show up at the end of Thor Love and Thunder, and that's exactly what happened. Now this book has started to drop, and a CGC 4.0 just sold this month for only 354 bucks which to me i actually think that's a pretty good price for this book about three to four months ago i was telling you guys to stay away from it but right now it has come down a little bit too much that i'd be pouncing on this book if i could we all know he's going to show up at some point down the road in the mcu again gonna go against thor it's already a given they already shown the character so to me i had to include this book at number five on thor books i want to own I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I put this video out probably at the beginning of each week, every week. So make sure you're checking them out. I've already done a bunch of great characters. If you haven't checked out those videos, make sure you do. This is Lawrence over at Money Comments and Collectibles saying thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you guys soon.